Hi Excellers, welcome to another How to Excel at Excel.com video tutorial. Today we're going to look at calculating the most improved sales in a sales area with a normal formula and then we're going to look at how to speed things up using an Excel array formula. Let's get started. So today we want to find the most improved sales area. We have four sales areas, north, south, east and west and our task today is who's got the most improved sales. First I'm going to show you how to do that with normal formulas and we'll, re we'll require two formulas to do that. First we'll have to find the sales difference and then we'll have to use a max function to find the most improved. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that a lot quicker using Excel array formulas. So let's go ahead and find the sales difference between December and November. And we'll use a straightforward formula. Start with equals E3 minus D3. And that will give us the sales difference between December and November, 1500. Let's just double click and fill in, fill in the rest of the formulas. So we know what the sales difference is. We need to find the largest sales difference. So let's go ahead. We need to use the max function. So let's hit equals and start typing. Excel will display any formulas starting with those first three letters. There's the max. And there's always a little there's always an explanation there. It returns the largest value in a set of values. That sounds like the one we need. Open parentheses. And what we, let's select the sales differences. F3 to F6, close parentheses, hit enter. The maximum value in our selection is 3,400. Stephen Parkin in the West. Well done, Stephen. You've got the most improved sales area. So that took us two formulas. So let's look at using an array formula to speed things up and let Excel do the hard work. So what is an array? An array is a range or group of related data values. And if we're talking about it in the context of Excel, it's the values in an array are normally stored in adjacent cells. So that could be a column, it could be a row of data. So let's go ahead and have most improved sales again. We still need to use the max function, open parentheses. But this time, instead of using the individual cells and copying down the formula, we can instruct Excel to take the whole, the whole array of December sales and take that away from the whole array of November sales close brackets. Now if, if we were to hit enter here we would get an error. With array formulas we need to instruct Excel that it is actually an array formula. So to tell Excel it's an array formula we need to surround it with what we call curly brackets. So what we do is we hit control shift and then enter and you can see already it's calculated the most improved sales. And you can see up here in the formula bar, the curly brackets. So the max function here is using the array, just taking us one formula instead of two. So Excel caches these values. So we don't need to store these values, Excel sees these values in its memory. And if you want to have a look and see what Excel sees, you can highlight your arrays and you can hit F9. And you can see here, it's storing these values in its memory and returning the maximum of those values. Thanks for watching. For more videos and to subscribe, click here. Don't forget to leave a comment, a thumbs up, and I'll see you again for another How to Excel at Excel.com video tutorial.